Ben Hur Stadium is a 63,000 seat stadium project, which is part of the wider Feyenoord master plan redevelopment of southern Rotterdam. OME is a multinational, multidisciplinary architectural practice based in Rotterdam, but with offices in Hong Kong and in New York. We deliver private and public projects across almost all typologies. This is the first stadium project that we've done. Due to the complexity of the project, the client, along with the design team, decided to utilize Autodesk's cloud-based design suite of tools because we knew that the coordination was the key aspect for the detailed design phase. Using BIM 360 design allowed us to create a design team that was collaborative but also very transparent in our problem solving. And the cloud-based solution really, I think, facilitated a very open, collaborative design team experience. We used generative design to optimize the C-value or the viewing experience for the 63,000 seats on the tiers. To facilitate the generative design task, we had to utilize the cloud-based platform to bring those sets of data together into one design so that we could actually do the analysis that we wanted. I like to think of generative design as another member of the team who can carry out a large volume of work to help our wider team understand what they can do within the limits of the design. By embracing these tools, it may be possible to get a design resolution that was previously unobtainable. The relationship between the structure and the architectural design was so intrinsic. Using the data and sharing the data via the cloud-based system allowed us to thrash out design options together on a daily basis, not just when we had design team meetings. Integrating rapidly changing geometric form between architecture to structure and structure to architecture allowed us to work through the design options as a very cohesive team. Using that data and having a live model between the two of us, we could explore the cost implications um, of our design options in-house so that when we presented those to the client, we were confident that the design options that we presented not only explored the design brief, but also met the cost requirements for the project. The Feynold project has been a catalyst for us. We're all using the same methodology which we refined within the Feynold project. And I think these technologies allow us to not only explore different streams of design options, but also to make that process quicker in terms of time scale, but also in terms of volume of options that we can explore. Having the data from the BIM process and using computational and generative design to drive an informed resolution using data and analysis at the core really follows a trajectory that OMA has been on uh, at the core of our practice. This technology has managed to be integrated quite naturally into our existing workflows and, and supplement at a kind of already research data and analysis based approach. Projects are being compressed and project deliverables are becoming more complex. To address those two demands that are being put on us by the industry, we can leverage this technology to still deliver the designs that we want and have time to do the design research that we want to do but also deliver a thorough set of deliverables, which will allow for the project to be ultimately realized as close to our design intent as possible.